In this video, we're going to be talking about five stupid sales tactics that real estate agents use to try and get you to use them. Hi, my name is Henry. I'm a real estate agent based in the DC metropolitan area, specializing in Montgomery County. Let's just jump right into it. These are really, really silly. And I don't know why people keep doing this because they act as if people are actually going to see through this. But here are five salesy tactics that people, that real estate agents try to use. I think most people end up seeing through. So number one is yes to success. All right, so this is, the whole per premise of this is neuro-linguistic programming. The idea is that they ask you questions, guiding questions, where you would definitely say yes to that question. And they keep asking questions throughout the course of a conversation. So you're just saying yes, 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 every single time to a question. So that at the end, when they ask you for business, the thought is that you've said yes so many times that all of a sudden you're gonna say yes. But that's not the case. You're not forming a relationship. You're just trying to manipulate somebody to say a result. Here's an extreme example. Do you feel like you're always running out of time? Yeah, well, yeah. Do you feel that you could use more time in your day? Yeah, I definitely can feel a lot more time. If I could show you how you can save money and make more money, wouldn't that be something that you're interested in doing? Yeah. Can I kill your firstborn child? Yes. No, it doesn't work like that. I mean, obviously nothing is going to be, I hope, is going to be that extreme of an example, but it's just a ridiculous premise and it, creates these really stilted conversations. And every time I've had a telemarketer call me and try to use this tactic, I mean, from question number one, you can just feel it. It's like, hey, hey, thank you so much for answering the call. Um, you know, so do you feel that you have enough business or do you feel that there's things that you can do to have a better business or, you know, like whatever that they're saying. They try to get you to say yes. And the moment that you feel it, you're just sort of immediately just, uh, okay, just get to the point where you're trying to, what are you trying to say? Number two is embedded commands. Now, this is a little bit more subtle than the, the success, yes to success method. The embedded commands is using phrases throughout the course of a conversation where they keep uh, suggesting a result. So for example, rather than saying like, if we were to work together, then they say, when we work together, or something like, uh, so when you choose to list your house with me today, wow, so that's a lot list your house, mm -hmm. you're, they're assuming that you're gonna list the house, with me, oh, you're very presumed and, and embedding the command that they're gonna use you today. Oh, you're gonna make that decision right now. So that's an example of an, an embedded command. It can be a little bit more subtle and I think that you know some people just kind of do it naturally from time to time, but in excess, it just becomes really obnoxious because it just seems like, okay, who's uh, who is not going to be able to see through that where a person is just putting in commands making all these assumptions um, you know when you when you put in the, the best and highest offer when you spend the most money that you possibly can when you when you make an offer on this house like it just seems really silly and it's a tactic that some realtors use um, I will say and admit that sometimes I fall into this category where I just might say it accidentally uh, but I think if you use it over and over again and it seems like a sales tactic, then it just gets really slimy and eventually people start seeing through that. Number three is embedding a sense of urgency that is not there. So if you're in a hot market and you need, and your real estate agent is saying, oh, we need to make an offer today or otherwise we're going to miss out on it, that is a legitimate thing as long as the market is actually demonstrating that. But some agents, they'll do something like those television commercials, the uh, made for TV commercials, where they say, Normally, we charge our full commission. However, if you sign with me today, embedded command, then we'll give you a discount in commission or, or something like that, right? We'll throw in, I don't know, a Chia pet. <laughs> so thinking back to the, the made for TV stuff. Creating an artificial sense of urgency. And I don't like that because it just pressures people unnecessarily. Again, it's one thing if it's a market reality, but it's another thing entirely if you're just inserting a sense of urgency that really is not there. Number four, guarantee. Okay, I have a lot to say about this. There are a lot of realtors and a lot of top performing ones at that who work with guarantees. So they would may say things like, you're, we'll sell your home guaranteed or we'll buy it. Um, you're gonna love the home that you, you purchase with us. Otherwise, we'll buy it back from you. Um, we'll sell your home in 90 days or we'll do it for zero commission. Like these guarantees that you know, they, they suck you in and it definitely gets your attention. But when you think about the realities of it, and if you really dig in to why they might do this, 
you start seeing that there isn't really much substance behind the guarantees. Really, what it comes down to is you need to be a real estate, you need to work with a real estate agent that you want to work with, that you trust, and that you don't feel is like sales hyping you into something and forcing you into some sort of large emotional decision, sense of urgency, just in order to, to get your signature on a contract that you can cancel anyway. And number five, okay, I say that people can see through this, but this is actually the thing that people fall for the absolute most, and this is discount realtors. So these are people who, if they're gonna be selling a house, they lead with the discounts or the savings, or if you're gonna be purchasing a house, some sort of rebate or um, savings process or like a refund thing. It's a really silly tactic, however, it works. And that completely blows my mind, because if you think about the value of a home, very few people spend more money on anything more than a home. So why would you try to find the absolute discount agent to work on your home purchase or your home sale? You have to vet them and make sure that they're actually going to do a good job for you. And if the most value that somebody has to offer is the discount, then you're, you know that you're in trouble. Think about it yourself in any other perspective. If you are looking to get a lawyer for an extremely important life or death or maybe um, you know multi-million dollar case, are you gonna go out and instantly look for the cheapest lawyer out there? No. And on the flip side, if you are looking to get medical attention, if you need a surgery done or need a specialist for something, are you do you start shopping with the cheapest doctor available? No, you're gonna look for people in both the doctor and the lawyer case with somebody who has the credentials, somebody that when you talk to them, they seem to understand you and seem to have a lot of knowledge about your case. And once you find that value, then that's really what it's gonna come down to because you need somebody who you know is gonna do a good job for you or you, that you feel is gonna do a good job for you. Not just save you money because this is, a, in real estate, it's not just a product, unless you're an investor, in which case it might just be a product. <laughs> but if you're looking for yourself, Real estate is not just a product. If you hire a bad agent, you could end up homeless, worst case scenario, or lose all of your savings if something gets botched up. Timelines can get completely messed up. You can ruin another person's uh, on the other side, whether it's the buying buyer or the seller, and ruin their life. And then they can come back and sue you, and then in which case you're gonna need a lawyer and hopefully you won't go for the cheapest lawyer at that point either. So there are a lot of things that can go on, and that is a sales tactic that I wish actually was on this list, but not everybody sees through. However, if you can find somebody who will work with you and go based off of your needs, then you're really gonna be in a much better place. So to summarize, stupid sales tactics that real estate agents use. Number one, yes to success, where they repeatedly ask questions where you're gonna say yes, so that when they close on you or try to go for the sale, business sale, you're gonna just somehow automatically say yes. Embedded commands where they subliminally include some commands in there to Jedi mind trick you into doing the things that they want you to do. Creating an artificial sense of urgency. So you're like, oh my goodness, I need to make a decision right now. Okay, I'm gonna sign my entire life away. Putting in guarantees. So, oh, we guarantee that we're gonna be able to get these amazing results for you that seem too good to be true. It's probably too good to be true. And discounts, where you just, the main value that a person has to offer is the discount, but you, they don't seem to offer much else. You know, they seem to have the same you know, sales tactic and the same pitch that every other person has. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate this. I hope that this has been, if not informative, at least a little bit entertaining because I like to poke fun at myself and as well as other people within the industry who use slimy sales tactics. But if you've come across something yourself that you are just like, oh, this was really cringeworthy, please put in the comments below because I find them immensely entertaining. So thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.